Have you ever crunched on a cricket? Bitten a bee? Or slurped a slug? Well, you're not alone. You gross. For thousands of years, people all over the world have been engaging in entomophagy, otherwise known as chowing down on insects. And why not? They contain plenty of protein and healthy fats and are super sustainable. Eating bugs is so popular that you've probably seen cricket snacks at your local health food store. But what other insects do people eat? Keep watching to find out some of the weirdest bugs that humans are snacking on across the globe. Centipedes. There are many delicious street foods in China, and one of the most popular offerings is centipedes. But you have to cook these many-legged creatures. It's dangerous to eat them raw. You can usually find them fried on skewers without their sharp pincered heads. And what does a centipede taste like? Well, a little like shrimp. They're crunchy and crispy with a slightly fishy aroma. So if you're a shrimp fan, centipedes might be your new favorite food. Caterpillars. Before they have a chance to become a butterfly, some caterpillars become human dinners. Eaten from Zambia to Thailand, caterpillars are a bountiful food source that can be fried, boiled, or even smoked for added flavor. Because they have a mild, almost buttery taste, they pair well with curried vegetables and a little chili for a spicy kick. Would you try one? Bee larvae. In the mountains in Vietnam, folks have been cooking and eating bee larvae for years. In the provinces of Hajong, Deng Quang, and Khao Bang, bee larvae are a popular and very nutritious food. They're usually paired with fresh ginger or fried with shallots and lime leaves to add flavor. Bee larvae are also an essential ingredient in some soup recipes. People like their crunchy texture and slightly nutty flavor, and they're packed with protein, vitamin B, and amino acids. Can they be any more nutritious? Dragonflies. Indonesia, Southeast Asia, and Japan are some of the places where people enjoy munching on dragonflies. They're considered a delicacy. You can eat both the larvae and the adult dragonflies. And the most common ways to prepare them are by frying them in oil or boiling them. It's important not to skip the cooking step as this helps kill any surface germs that might make you sick. And remember to remove the wings first. They can be hard to swallow and don't have much flavor. Eating a dragonfly is often compared to the taste and texture of soft-shell crab. Flying ants. During the rainy season in Chiapas, Mexico, a very coveted ingredient begins to emerge from the soil and straight into the frying pan. They're flying ants, or nuku. Locals and tourists enjoy them so much that they are even served on pizza. Cooks fry them, and the ants can be seasoned in many ways. Some people top their ants with garlic and lemon juice. Others eat them with tortillas and salsa. Flying ants are plentiful during this time of year, and they contain lots of healthy fats and protein. As for their taste, some say the ants taste a little like pork rinds. I could be okay with that. Now that you've learned all about these exciting snacks from around the world, what do you think? Would you give etymophagy a try? Or are you creeped out by these crunchy critters? If bugs aren't your thing, but you're hungry for more, check out our video on the surprising history of the lobster. It's here on Origins of Food.